Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK. Um, first time visiting my channel, please like, subscribe and share. Um, I, I don't know why, I kind of do my videos in threes recently. I get a kind of a little surge of inspiration and I think, yeah, the, these topics I need to kind of get out of my system and then I can breathe and have a peaceful night. Anyway, today I decided to look into this fiasco that's going on about a black mermaid. You know the little mermaid who was ordinarily in, I think it came out in 1989, um, long ginger hair, white, and now they're making her black. And there's an uproar and saying, you know, how can you take away my little heroine, my little idol, you know, you can't change her for a black person. I mean, the girl, the, the mermaid is a mythical creature for Christ's sake. I mean, anyone can play it. But the what I was thinking about is more to do with the actual um, intention of the writer and the producer. When you think about um, people who write, whether it's fiction or, well, normally when it's non-fiction, they have a character in mind of how they perceive the person who they want to play the part to look like. And that's usually based on their environment. I would have thought who they know, their surroundings, and whether or not, I guess, this one was made in the 1980s. I mean, you know, it, England was diverse enough to have made her black back then, but probably he wasn't ready then. So I think it's Hans Christian Andersen or someone like that. But the fact of the matter is, is that writers and playwrights have an idea who they're going to play, for, who they're going to choose for a role. Hugh Grant, I mean, he's brilliant in the roles that he, he um, acts in. And, you know, a lot of people, they are just the right person for the role. And if you try to switch them, it wouldn't work. Sidney Poitier, you couldn't really put a white person in his role when he did um, that movie in the school, Please Sir, I think it was called, Please Sir, I Dear Sir, or something. And um, because it wouldn't work, because... The whole point of that role was that the children had to get used to somebody who was foreign, who didn't look like them, and who they were rebellious against, and he had to navigate that behaviour and um, see if he could quell it and build trust and, you know, change the whole attitude of the class, which is what he did. But that would not have worked with a white actor. So we have to kind of think, what role is the person or, um, it's not a figure, is it? And it's not an actor. I don't know what you call the Little Mermaid, but let's call her a creature for want of a better word. But you have to kind of think, what role is that person going to play, whether or not race has a large part to play in it, whether or not race will change the flavour of that film. Because they were talking about Idris Elba or somebody um, being James Bond, a black James Bond. And then somebody said, um, how could you have a black James Bond? Because, you know, he's always hiding from the FBI and the KBI and whoever, the KBG or whatever they are. And he would stand out like a sore thumb because normally he's, you know, James Bond is hiding and he's hiding amongst white people. And if you put a black person in there, all they've got to do is say, oh, James Bond is black and they can pick him out and stand out like a sore thumb. So it wouldn't work. Well, that was their argument. They were said it wouldn't work for that reason. But you have um, Mulan in um, Jungle Book. Would he work if he was white? Or would it mean by virtue of him living in the jungle, he'd have to be a person of colour? Aladdin, Oriental. You know, you have all these little creatures and whatever you call them, animated people, whatever they are. And you have to kind of think, what is the storyline? Little Mermaid, I, it was so long since I've seen it, I'm not quite sure whether her colour will make a difference to the script. 
you have some Caribbean um, Sebastian, you have some Caribbean um, singers in there who are obviously black. And would it make a difference if they had a Cockney voice? When you think of things like Ice Age and all these other fantastic animated uh, movies, and you can tell the ones who are black, would it work if those ones were white and they didn't have the accent and they didn't have the attitude? So it's not just about you cannot have a black Annie or a black Pollyanna or a black um, James Bond or a black Little Mermaid. It's the role that the person plays and it is the story or the character that the person who invented it had in mind. And that is the key issue here. So those are my thoughts on that. I'm sure even more people are going to um, complain and moan. One more I'm saying, you've destroyed my idol, you've destroyed my princess. People are saying all sorts. You can't change her into somebody black. And why is it just now and all this diversity? Does that mean you're going to include gays and this and that in order to encompass it? I don't think all of that should really come into the argument. I mean, I don't think it needs to. I think the fact that new producers may have a different mindset, because if you're a modern producer, you might be more aware of people of colour and give them lead roles. But that would, because, that would be because that is your experience. So it would make a difference and the storyline would probably be different. I'm not quite sure if it's a good idea to um, replace an old um, idol, or whatever you want to call them, it's not an idol to me, but um, one of those old films like Pollyanna and um, Annie and The Little Mermaid with black people, why can't they just create a brand new story? Or is it important to show that any person of colour can play this role and tell a story from their perspective because that's what it's about it's about sharing an experience from another perspective and some people aren't ready for that yet some people aren't ready to look at the world from a different perspective but that's what all this is about well that's just my point of view anyway and that's all for now bye bye <laughs>